Helen Elizabeth Dawes here with more reflections on growing up as a only child living in an Air Force family and being a baby boomer. Well, like I said, I'm not a baby boomer. My parents were the baby boomers. But anyway, do you know those young people and you might even know some adults who always seem kind of standoffish and they don't talk to many people and they just watch people and you think they're really stuck up. But then when you go over and talk to them, you find that they can be really nice and friendly and have interesting things to say and are interested in you and ask questions about you and don't dominate the conversation and are really quite nice. And when you get to know them, they can actually be fun and like to do things and share information and are interested in sharing and finding out things that you're interested in. Well, you know, a lot of the times, those people who we think are stuck up are actually like I was really very shy. So shy, all we could do was just stand in the back and watch and observe. And if somebody would happen to look at us, we might smile. But being an only child, and you don't really always know how to talk. And if you haven't played a lot of games and you don't go out that much, you're not too good with moving in those social circles and being the life of the party and just walking up and talking to anybody with any little trivial or the latest fashion or all the stuff that people might talk about. So yes, I grew up being accused of being stuck up and thinking I was better than everybody else when I really didn't. And those brave and kind kids who take a little bit of time to invite me in or say hi, we became friends. And through them, I learned how to talk a little bit better and got over being called stuck up. So, the next time you see someone who's standing in that corner and who people say are stuck up, why don't you go over and just say hi and see if they really are shy and need someone to talk to. Come back next week for another story from Helen Elizabeth Dawes. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe.